He's just here. Just here. I'll keep my eyes on him. Just here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you're just behind him. He's turning, he's turning. He's missed it. He's coming in on the teaser. Let's go slow, go slow. He's just right here, right here. Marlon right here. Marlon right here. Marlon right here. Here, free spool, free spool. He's gonna say it. The live he's off. Oh no. No, he's got it, free spool. Has he got it? Let him run off, let him run off. I think he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Is that two in two minutes? Jackson! He's just here. He's got it. I reckon you're on, bro. I reckon flip it. What do you reckon, Pete? Pete? Yeah, he just slowly going. I'm just taking it out of gear. Let it just come tight on its own. What sort of drag you got? Fuck, fuck all. Yeah, it's alright. Just let it come tight. Just He's gone. No, let it come tight, let it come tight. Oh. There you go, there you go. Are you alright? Oh, bruh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oi. Two fish in two minutes. He's bigger. Yeah. He's bigger. Peter. All right, just don't pull him over. He comes up. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Before. Please stay attached. Oh, I don't feel like the book's set. Yeah, circle, man. It's weird, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever in the world, bro. Wow. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Like, literally, I was like, that's another one. Oh. Are, you, are you happy that I gave you the call and said, Jackson? I was standing there far off and around, and then Pete's like, Get a fucking I think he here. ate it straight away and it then came in on the teaser. Yeah, yeah. Alright, remember when I called you the other day and said, Bait on there, he already had it in his Yeah, he did, eh? Said, Hey man, do you want to come marlin fishing with me up at Fraser <laughs> Island? And you're like, Oh, yeah, I suppose. Maybe. You happy now? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. It was good to see you. Long, long, long drawn out battle, man. I just can't believe, like, it's happened. I can't believe it. It all happened at once. Yeah. Like, 15 minutes. Remember what I said earlier at the start of, like, today? This is the only place in the world you can do this. And it's like, to have two bites in two minutes is just insane. Come on, Jackson. Oh, it's so close. He's a good fish, bro. Nice size fish. Holy shit. He's so sick. He's not happy. Is his guts hanging out? Yeah. yeah. They throw their stomach out, eh? Yeah. Just keep him there. Rod tip down. Can you just angle that GoPro? Well, I've landed in my life one marlin before. I'm a little bit scared. It's again. Leader. Oh, really gently on the leader and just got the go. We got him, boys. Yeah. We got him, boys. Yeah. We got him, boys. Yeah. yeah, I got him. I got him. He's not going anywhere. Brooksy got him. Yeah, I got him. Hey, 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 hey! 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 Settle down, bro. It's all good. Hook's in there. Real deep. Coming in. Brooksy coming in. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at the purple. So sick. Look at the little Ramori on him. Look at that! Wow! We're gonna get him back straight away so he's alright. This is the reality of fishing. He's, he's 
taking the hook down deep, as you can see during the fight, he's like um, turned his stomach inside out to get rid of the hook. Um, so he's a little bit ginger at this stage. We're gonna tow him around like this. Hopefully we can get him swimming and fit and strong again and he can swim off, because we don't want this thing to die. If he does die, he can eat black marlin, so we'll eat black marlin, but hopefully we can get him back and then hopefully we can catch another one. That's the whole idea behind the circle hook is that this doesn't happen, but from time to time, what can you do? He's taking it deep, so hopefully we can get him going. So, Jackson now just walking him around. We gave him a big push, went belly up, so. Oh yeah, it's not looking good, which is so unfortunate. For a, a, such an epic fish like this, but this is just the nature of fishing, and sometimes bad shit like this happens, and it's just unavoidable. It's like you got to take it. If you can't deal with it, you can't go fishing because it's just part of it that sometimes stuff like this happens. So, this fish is not looking like it's going to survive, so we're going to take him, we'll eat him, and that's the thing. We could probably push him off and pretend that he swam away all good, but in reality, he's just going to get destroyed by sharks, and it's a total waste. So, We'll take him, we'll eat him, and like we said, it's a shame, but what do you do? He's on it, he's on it, he's on it. He's got it. He's got it. Um, go pro, go pro, go pro. How long, how long? He's jumping. Just wind in. We're on, boys! Jackson! Wow, bro! That was poetry in motion, boys. Oh my god! I, I was filming on this, on my chest. You just aim that one down a bit if you can, bro. Oh, oh my god! That was so wild. 100% marlin on the left, tail out. Did, when he saw the livey man, he, he went just, yeah, like yeah. a rocket ship. Yeah. He already back up and up even before you can't. Oh. oh my god, Peter. Love it when a plan comes together. We just gotta hope this 80s sweet now is the next thing. Oh, Ooh. that's sick. Oh my god, he's perfect. <laughs> he's coming at oh, us, boys. Shit. Oh no! He dropped him. Oh no! Oh, he dropped him. <sighs> Circle just fell out. Circle just fell out inside the boat. Nah, lost him. Devastation. Uh, Stop filming. What do you reckon, man? I'm so upset, bro. Wow. Look, look how far we are from the beach. Ouchies. Stop filming. Oh, I'm so upset. Alright, so we're just cruising along in here, having a little look. What the hell? <laughs> See something on the side scan. I'm just tying on a stick bait. Jackson goes, there's something, there's fish there on the side scan. Chucks the yakka out. Did a couple of little circles. Oh yeah, something's picked up the yakka. That was so fucked up, man. Something's picked up the yakka here. Oh yeah, something's got it. Flips the bail arm. Marlin jumps out of the water, now hooked up to Black Marlin, number two for Jackson, two for the day. Side scan to Marlin. <laughs> yeah, bruh. He's so cute and little. No. Queen fish. Big, big queen fish. Yeah, brass. Look at him jump. Look at that in that water. I think I'm going to stand out once you get him over the sand. Oh, look. Oh, we'll just start fishing here, boys. Look at that. I know, bro. I know. You don't have to tell me twice. I can see it. That is so fucking unreal, man. Yeah. Wow, man. Can't believe it picked him up on the sidey. 
Hey. You that like so cool. You like fishing? Oh, it's very, very cool. This is very, 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 very cool. Alright. Should we get get in there on him a bit? Get get him into the beach? This place is ridiculous, man. So sick, man. Hey? So epic. Unbelievable. Number two. Boys have had enough of this spot. <laughs> I think being fast is very important now. A bit of a longer fight, this one. Look at the bait on the beach. Couple of whiting on the beach. Marlin on the beach. Do you want me just to walk out to him? Because he's going to be pretty buggered. Bit what? No, he's all right now. Just walk in with me and then I'll, I'll pass you this. And you just hold tension, I'll grab him. I'll just tuck that in there. Okay. Don't drop that. Stay there, buddy. Hello. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, look at that, that hook's got him so good. Perfectly thin. Get that out. Hey, hey, hey. If we can get it out. Look at that, oh, that's yeah. a circle in there. Fuck, his mouth's so hard, man. Wasn't coming off, eh? Hey. No, I got it. I'm just gonna keep swimming him. Keep moving him forward. I'll swap ya. You wanna put that glove on? Just go one at a time, just leave one. Put your glove on. Wow, man, he's so cute. There you go. I'll grab my camera. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, bruh. Number two, bro. Number two! <laughs> when you're ready, bro, push him. Yeah, yeah, go, man. Swim, buddy. Out of here like a rocket ship. He'll be right. Just keep pushing him. Yeah, he's upright. Can't see. Yeah, no, I'm right. Just keep walking. Don't push him too deep yet. Until he's ready. He'll be right. Just keep swimming him. Keep pushing him. We'll just, we'll just walk him this way. Big push. Swim. He's swimming. He's going. God. He's going. No, he, he's no yeah, he's 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 sweet. He's holding himself perfect. Hey. 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 Number two. He's fine, bro. Show you little he's fine. They're real like it's like they get real sluggish, eh? Yeah. Yeah. He's sweet, man. Woo! Side scan. <laughs> Marlin. Feed the bait. Land on the beach. Two for Jacko. Brooksy up. Well right. done, man. Alrighty. Peter. I wanted to heckle Peter a little bit because I think it's really cool for you guys if you're going to come and fish with these guys at Harvey Bay Sports Fishing. You get to know the people you're coming to fish with because in all reality when you go fishing with a fishing guide you may or may not get along with the person pete has been bloody epic to me and jackson over the last two days as has charles for getting us here in the first place i think it's really cool and it's really helpful for you guys to get to know the people you're going to fish with and the people that are going to possibly catch you the best thing you've ever seen because that's pretty much what's happened to us for the last two days been here for uh, over 10 years now yep. um originally came here for fly fishing and uh, chasing goldies around on the flats. Yeah. 
and um, then sort of heard more and more about these little marlin at the top of the island and went and had a look and the first one we sort of managed to live bait was about oh, 90 kilos and hey. um, yeah, just a nice little one but <laughs> generally speaking the uh, ones we come across are more like sort of 10 to 15 kilos occasionally 20 last year you got a couple that were 40 and 60 kilos at the point there so you just don't know what's going to turn up and it's just exciting fishing like yeah that. yeah and that's i think comes back to like and that this is what Charles said to me before i came up he was like if you want to do the marlin thing just um focus on that don't worry about doing anything else because here, obviously here there's lots of options if you follow these guys on instagram and stuff they catch massive cobia golden trevally longies everything everything you could imagine and there's such variety here but if you want to come do this kind of stuff i think you really gotta like i said earlier have like the patience to do it because it may happen straight away like this morning or it may take hours like yesterday so um it's just fishing and you gotta come with that expect like without the expectation you got to be prepared to catch nothing because that's when you're chasing a fish like that yeah that's my own fish yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. what do you reckon like in the season the percentage of times you catch fish or see fish yeah i don't know about percentages but certainly um one year can be very different to the next yeah. and it's sort of it's arcing up where already we've seen some great fish caught some great fish the season's looking really good whereas the last couple of years has been quite doughy sort of thing you know, yeah sort of like coming across odd one here and there and and more or less sort of trolling them up out of the deep but yeah. already we've sort of seen more than half a dozen just in the last couple of days just free swimming along the flats there which is just fantastic it yeah. shows these numbers around yeah too. and pete was saying to us um that he'd never really done the kind of fishing we've done like the way we've caught them over the last two days like um we had the teasers out the back obviously and today not a single fish came up on the teaser we were up the front eyes out and just looking and seeing those fish and pitching baits at them and i'm sure you could do it on a stick bait or a fly like that but um what is that like for you like you've fished here for 10 years and you're still doing new different stuff yeah, and learning different things fantastic because like uh, always wanted to be able to have some liveys on board and just be organised that way that we could actually flick a livey to a yeah. um, to a free swimmer marlin and we've just done that, you know, like whereas in the past it's quite often um, not so prepared, people might sort of say, oh, you know, we want to go and have a look for a couple of hours or something like that and it's very hard to sort of um, be organised with liveys and everything in that sort of situation. And, um, uh, we've done quite well just by um, trolling pushes around and get a bite and got him on basically and uh, it's it's a more simplified method um, and um, it suits some people but um, you get some fish that will come up and they're just not interested they'll come and sit behind a lure or they might even touch it decide they don't like it go and have a look at another lure and you just think oh if only I had a live and just you know mm. it could have been a caught fish so you know it just worked out really really well so, yeah I think it's epic that like like I said, like 10 years of fishing here and you're still finding different ways to catch fish and learning new things. It's what fishing is like, especially for me and my fishing, I love to always try and do different things and learn different things. And I learned a lot from fishing with you for two days. So Thank you very much. it's bloody amazing. And um, I think like, as far as fishing goes, if you come here and you want to do this kind of stuff, like with Pete and Charles and Johnny and Kurt as well, um, there's nothing more like, amazing to see then a marlin swimming in three meters of water and you chuck something and he goes electric blue and just eats it it's incredible and i cannot recommend it enough so make sure if you're in this area even if you're in brisbane gold coast wherever the hell you are it's a five hour bloody drive from the gold coast like to come up here and do this kind of thing so make sure you check the guys out hit them up you want to fish with the great Pete because he's a bloody legend and um, I'm sure you'll have a good time. I think that's about it. Thank you very much. Bloody legend. Excellent. See you. Cheers, Brooks. I'm thank sure you. we'll see you many times. Better be in the future. Time. Right on, guys. Thanks for watching. Massive thank you, Harvey Bay Sports Fishing. Um, I will link the website below and you can click the link and you can book yourself a trip. All righty, we're back here now and we are eating... Yeah. Today's black marlin for dinner. We've just had some sashimi black marlin, yeah. which is right here. And the cho oh yeah, give us a go. Give us a look. Actually amazing. You want to try some? No, no. For the camera? Come on. No, 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 no. Charles is making, what are you making? Mate, we're doing Cajun marlin steaks. 
Yeah. That's what we're going to call it. Bloody oh. Olive oil, Cajun spices, away we go. Go on, try it. Catch and cook marlin all of a sudden. The flesh. Oh, he's actually going for it. He wants the air time. Talk to me. Talk to me. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Good. <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> the meat actually looks like kind of like a Spanish, I guess. Steaky. Yeah. Very meaty, eh? I'm good, thanks. So, this is going to be interesting. I've never eaten a marlin before. Like right, we discussed in the boat, it's a bit of a shame that it died, but what do you do? So, marlin for dinner. Bit of marlin there. Do you do the full cook or just the half cook? We're going half. Half oh, cook. Pink in the middle, mate. Yeah, right. Have you eaten many before? A couple. Good? Yeah, no, it's good. It's really good. I've had swordfish before. Is it like swordfish? Close, yeah. Closest thing to Spanish mackerel, I reckon. Yeah, right. Look at the meat. That's obviously got the... Cajun spiced up. It's pretty legit. I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be good. Right. Are you ready? She's Stop. still steaming, mate. Do you want to slice her up, Charles? Slice it, mate. Here at the Chorley's Manor. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh, it's still that pinky in the middle. That's yeah. what you want, yeah, eh? Yeah, that's what we want, mate. Huh? Hey? Who would have thought we were going to be eating black marlin today? Let's go. What do you reckon? Me. It is like Spanish. It's amazing. It's better. Fully like Spanish. Like Just try it if you catch a black marlin. Try not to kill it. But if you do, it's... But if you do, it's actually pretty good to eat. And you shouldn't release and pretend that it's all okay. If you know it's going to die, just eat the thing, please. Because it's amazing. No yeah. waste. No waste. No waste.